My name is Joe. Uh, I'm 20 years old and I live with 1,400 plants in my apartment. Downstairs is not as many plants. There's probably only about 100, which still sounds a lot, but it's not as much as upstairs. So when you go upstairs, the middle room is was a study and it's now just a place to put plants. And if you turn to the right, that's where the, uh, the bathroom is. And that's where I have the oldest plant in my collection, which is 50 years old. And I've got lots of plants in the, uh, the actual bath as well. And I don't take baths. I have showers, which is on the other side of the bathroom. Yeah, I just have plants everywhere. Watering, it would be around an hour a day. I regard it as a sixth scent. I walk past a plant and I can almost tell it needs a water. When I go on holiday, I've just recently come back from Australia. and I got a fellow colleague. I paid her to look after the plants. I did feel a bit uh, sad and a bit odd not seeing them every day. I'm glad I'm back. I'm glad I'm with them again. And none of them died, so I'm very grateful. Is you feel the weight of the plastic pot. When a plant feels you know, light when lifted, that is the best time to give it a water. Most plants, if not all, have um, evolutionised to deal with potential droughts. Keeping them underwatered is very healthy and very beneficial for the plants because it reduces the chance of rot and decay. The only difference is if it's in direct sun, you don't want to underwater it because it will dehydrate and die. In some situations, it could be maybe too much direct sun. But if the, the browning leaf tips continue it could be a sign of too low humidity you could introduce a humidity tray or a pebble tray so you just have a, a little saucer put some stones on and then fill it up with water if you put the plant on top of it but just make sure the bottom of its pot isn't in water that will select the water will evaporate and produce a little pocket of humidity around the plant and that's it, it helps a lot it is important to read to pot a plant, although you don't want to do it too frequently. And if you do it once a year, you run the risk of root rot because there's too much soil and not enough roots. The soil will stay too wet. And as I say, the oxygen won't be able to penetrate the soil and the roots will begin to rot. The general rule of thumb for any foliage plant, so these, is every two years. And for flowering plants, it's every three or four years. If a plant is completely dead, like this palm, the chances are it won't grow back because it can't produce basal offsets from the soil line. Now, plants like ferns, they will produce um, rhizomes, which is just modified roots, which will poke their themselves above the soil line and then produce a new leaf. If there is a couple of roots, you just need to repot it in a much smaller pot. Uh, and that will reduce the chance of further rot. When a plant dies, most of the time I'm not upset too much. And that's purely because when you study uh, plants and horticulture, you learn about the circle of life and you know how seedlings will grow from the, the dying leaves on the soil, which gives it nutrients. So when a plant dies, I, I just accept the fact that it dies.